Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to set up a rim brake dual pivot caliper. So if you want to know a quick easy way of doing it, then let's run through the steps. So here we have the caliper we're going to be using. This is dual pivot caliper, this just happens to be a Tektro R359 caliper. This is long drop um, dual pivot caliper. So, I will say there's many different models, makes, etc etc on the market this is just a rough guide to setting a dual pivot caliper up so on some of them the adjustment screws might be in a different place but they perform the same function they might just look different I'll say you've got the mounting bolt on the back there normally a five millimeter on the back it depends if you're fitting it to the front or the rear what size nut you would have so the length of that nut there with the smooth shaft on it if it's for a front brake it'd be a longer version of that it needs to go through your fork on the rear maybe a small one like this just depending on what frame you've got so that's normally a five millimeter there then you've got your barrel adjuster for the cable here like that say it could be a plastic could be metal just depends on what it is so you've got the brake pads mounting bolts there usually like four millimeter roughly for that then you got the a little hex head there just to do the final adjustments of the pad against the rim so the gap between the pad and the rim just that one there I well, say that could be anywhere on and depending on what calipers you got some some that screw could be down here or it could be up here somewhere just depends then you've got the pinch bolt for the cable on the side there normally a 5mm hex for that and then obviously depending on what caliper you've got you've got a way of undoing the cable to let the slack off so the cable goes slack so it opens up the brakes so you can get drop your wheel out of the frame so many different versions of that but they all do the same thing could, could, be a, could flick up like that or it could just be a lever on that plastic lever but the basic principle is the same so let's go ahead let's get this fitted so first thing you're going to do is remove the nut off the back there now you've got a washer there with the teeth serrated teeth on it so that will go on there like that and that stays on there when you put it through the hole in your frame and then the nut goes on after so that'll stay this side so it bites onto the frame itself so what I'll do is just put that in place I'll put a little bit of anti-seize on the thread as well just to stop that getting corroded up at a later date if you ever need to remove the caliper and you wonder why that's rusted up so put some anti-seize grease on the thread itself before you put the nut on and what I'll do is put that through the frame and put the nut on the other side so we've got that nut started on there and all I'm going to do is tighten it up just a bit, not fully tightened at the moment I'm just going to nip that up So I've nipped it up so the caliper, the whole caliper can still move slightly left to right. I'll exaggerate it, but it should move like that. That's how you just want it. So you don't want it fully tightened at the minute. You just want to be able to enough so you can just move it like that. Then we'll leave it like that for a sec. Now I'll show you the next step. So for the next stage, obviously your pads have just come anywhere mounted like that. So they're not in the right place at all. So what you need to do is move your pad so as it's in the right place when you squeeze the brake together that they're hitting the rim in the right spot. So we'll just slide them up or down whichever way you need to so as it's in the right place like that. 
and then we're concentrating on this side for the minute so I'll show you try and get it up close so I can actually show you what I'm talking about when it comes to lining the pad up so what we've done is zoom the camera in so I can show you this up close so you can actually see what I'm trying to um, talk about and explain when you've moved the pad so a 4mm hex head then you just move it up or down whichever way you go so when you squeeze the caliper together it's actually making contact with the rim in the right place but if you look I'll squeeze that up like that as you can see there it's hitting at the front first so that would be alright if you wanted some toe on the, on the uh, pad so to get that toe what you do is get a small elastic band and put round the back of the pad here so just tie a small elastic band round there and just tie a couple of knots in it on the back just so it's round there I'll just show you a band so you can see what I'm talking about well, so you get a band elastic band and just put round the back of your pad like that and then just tie a knot in it so as it was had a knot just here so it's effectively just round there tie a knot in it and that will give you a little bit of toe on the pad if you preferred the pads with the front of the pad touching first and not the back so it just touched first so if that's one way of doing it but if you want the pad touching flush so as it all makes contact at the same point as you can see there that would be ideal for a bit of toe on it but if you want it touching so as it all hits at the same time what you do is just slacken off your hex head that's holding the pad just so it's slightly slack just so the pad will move on its own like that then when you hold the rim up if, you, if the bolts slack then as you can see there it moves around on its own so when it moves around it will centre it as it hits the rim it will just centre that up so as it's hitting all at the same time so once you've done that then you can just nip up the 4mm that's holding the pad just nip it up just so it stops moving so you're not altering the brake pad at all you're just nipping the bolt up see the pad can still move like that ever so slightly just nip it up and then let go like that and then once you've done that you can hold on to the pad while you're doing up that bolt because when you do that up it tends to twist the pad so it twists it like clockwise while you're doing that up so you just hold on the pad itself stop it moving then nip it up and then squeeze up your brake again and make sure that it's hitting in the right place like that if you're not happy with it then just undo your 4mm again slacken it off slightly, move your pad further so slightly and just repeat it again like I said you can either put the elastic band around there if you want a bit of toe on the pad some people prefer that and some people just like them flush with the rim all the way just personal preference so once we've done that side, I'll do the same thing on that side. So on the opposite side, if I just squeeze that up, you see it's nowhere near the rim whatsoever. So we just slacken it off slightly, move it up. You may need to move your cable pinch out of the way. So move it up, then squeeze that, just see where it's at. And just look see if it's making contact all at the same time when the pad hits the rim like that so once that's right just nip it up then let go and then hold on to the the whole pad and then tighten it down and then try again so once you've done that then what we need to do is roughly centralise the caliper so as both pads are hitting at the same time so I'll just move the camera again and show you that so earlier on when I mounted the caliper to the frame I didn't actually do up the pinch bolt fully like I said it can still move ever so slightly left and right the whole caliper like that 
and the reason that is is what I want to do now before I fully tighten it is when you squeeze up the brakes like that you'll see that you might have one pad that's hitting the rim and then you look the other side and that one could be five mil away from the rim or more even so it's not central so if you've done it up like that then one of you've got too much adjustment to make trying to set them up afterwards so if you squeeze it up and see this one's hitting and this one is probably about seven mil away from the rim so it's still got that much movement in it before it even hits the rim this one's this one's already touching and this one's this one's touching this one's still got that much movement before it even makes contact so what you want to do is squeeze that up so they both hit at the same time obviously by moving the caliper like that left and right and then do it up and then squeeze them together so they're both hitting at the same time when they're both hitting at the same time then you can finish off doing up your five millimeter for your mounting bolt and then snug that down then let go and then make sure they're both hitting at the same time like that so once you're happy with the pad alignment on the rim and they're touching at the same time and what you do is get your cable and put that down through your barrel adjuster so we put that in place like that and then what we need to do is put it in behind the pinch bolt so slacken your pinch bolt off you can either take it right out or just slacken it off and then pass the cable down behind it So to do that you may need just to squeeze your pads together like that just so as it allows the where the pinch bolt is it allows it to fall down like it would be when the brakes are being used because if you let go of it like that it, it can some calipers just kick that up out the way a bit so if you pinch them together it puts it in the right place so as you put the cable down behind it like that so now what I'm going to do is just before we pinch the cable up in the, with the pinch bolt what I'm going to do is go to your barrel adjuster and then just wind that up so anti-clockwise wind that up a few turns first and then after you've done that just wind it up a little bit say three or four turns on that then squeeze your pads together like that so they're touching the, the rim itself and then you can do up your pinch bolt just make sure your cable is pulled nicely through there and it's not got any slack in it anywhere and then squeezing the caliper we'll just snug down the pinch bolt just snug that down like that and then we can let go and now you see that your brakes are almost touching the rim they're, they're, they're actually touching the rim itself and the wheel can barely turn so now what you do is just wind your barrel adjuster back in like that so clockwise wind it back down wind that back down like that so now it lets the pads away from the wheel so now your wheel is spin like that 
So all I did there, like you just saw, was pinch up the caliper and then before you do up your pinch bolt make sure that you've backed your barrel adjuster out say four or five turns out anti-clockwise then make sure your cable's pulled and you haven't got any slack in it do up your pinch bolt once it's snugged up let go of your caliper and then wind your barrel adjuster back down so clockwise to the bottom and then that way you should have clearance between your pad and your rim make sure it's got enough clearance so when you spin the wheel your wheel spins freely because you could spin it and then find that somewhere your wheel's not dead true so it might move slightly from side to side and then it might be touching somewhere if that's the case then do it again squeeze it up undo your pinch bolt so you'd undo that and let it off again so as when you let go it's not doing anything then make sure you wind your barrel adjuster up but this time wind it up a bit more to allow for your wheel not being dead true so you want to wind it up more if that was the case so just get hold of that again and then wind it up more than you did last time so wind it up say six seven turns for instance instead of four or five wind it up six or seven and then do the same thing again hold it together make sure your cable slack is out of the cable pinch up your pinch bolt like that snug it up let go and then wind down your adjuster again all the way to the bottom wind it all the way back down like that and then try your wheel again like that you see there it spins no problem at all and then by doing that as your pads wear either side all you do is just tweak your barrel adjuster anti-clockwise so it winds it back up to allow for the wear in the pads and you've still got all your barrel adjuster there set at the bottom so you've got all the way to wind it up as your pads are wearing so it's not set halfway in the middle or something like that it's set right at the bottom so as the pads wear you can take up the slack in them just by winding your barrel adjuster So once you've sorted out the cable and you've done your pinch bolt up then what you want to do is look at the pads again so make sure they're in the right place on the rim still pull on your lever and when you pull on your lever look closely at the rim both sides and make sure as the pads come in that they're touching the rim at exactly the same time so the rim isn't being pushed over to one side or the other that's where the fine adjustment comes in on this caliper it just happens to be a two mil there two millimeter hex head there but like i said it could be here above your pad mounting bolt for instance or it could be around the back in here but it does the same sort of principle so on this one by turning the two millimeter hex clockwise so if you turn that clockwise what it'll do is move the left hand pad closer to the wheel to the rim so anti-clockwise brings this pad away from the rim so if you squeezed it up and it's hitting this pad's hitting too soon before this one on the right hand side it only affects this one so if it's hitting too soon then if you wind it anti-clockwise just a fraction and then go up to your lever pull your brake on and just keep a close eye on the rim again and then you may have to tweak it a little bit but make sure they both come together at the same time say that 
screw is only adjusting one of the brake pads against the rim. It's not doing the other side. So if this one's hitting too soon, then adjust it away. And then it will centralise itself. Obviously you're not touching that one, you're just doing this one. So you've got to just keep pulling your brake on, have a look until you get it spot on. And then when you're happy with that, 100%, then we can snip the cable's length and put a stop on it. So once you're happy with everything, you can snip off your cable. And we just crimp a stop on there. So once you've done that, what you want to do is refer to your manufacturer's spec of your caliper, whatever you've got. Make sure you check the torque setting for your pinch bolt and the mounting bolt as well. Just check those, double check them, and then that's the installation of that complete. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more cycle-related content. Till next one, ride safe and I'll see you then.